Hello, I'm Kusex, and I'm gonna be making a tutorial on the Flat Bedrock plugin for Spigot. The plugin will work on any bucket build, in this case a bucket fork, which is a Spigot. The author of this plugin is VK2GPZ, and the ratings are quite unjustified in my opinion. I tested the plugin and it worked flawlessly, and that is why I'm making this tutorial. So, down here you will see a lot of bad ratings. This is probably people that didn't know how to configure this, and that's exactly why we're making this tutorial. First things first, we're gonna download it. It's a very easy, lightweight plugin, so it's beautiful. We're gonna bring up our server. This is either your panel or your server, however you have set it up. And you're gonna drop it into the plugins. If you have already generated the world and you're looking at your already generated chunks, you're gonna see no change, and I'm gonna show you that right now. We're gonna start it up with the plugin in the plugins, as you can see here and it's gonna load in. For that, we are gonna go into Minecraft to see the results. It's probably gonna be ready for when we open Minecraft. Not quite. It is preparing the spawn area. There we go. And now we go into the server. Now, if we go into game mode creative and we dig straight down, Probably in an area with light, not gonna lie to you, it's gonna be hard to see if we don't do that. There we go. Even with shaders, we need light. Ooh, big spawner. Alright, if we go down in our already generated world, bedrock is bedrock. It just acts like bedrock. It's beautiful, messy bedrock. Alright, with the plugin installed, if you go into new chunks, the new chunks will have flat bedrock. Why doesn't it change the already existing chunks? Because it can't. It is a plugin. Mods might have ways of doing it, although I haven't seen a single mod that does it, but plugins surely, at least so far, can't. So, in these new chunks, hopefully it's far enough. I think we're not far enough considering that I have 16 chunks with rendered for my server, but we're gonna check it out. Bedrock should be flat. The normal configuration makes it okay. Give us water, that's beautiful. Give us lava, that's great. <laughs> this is gonna be... There we go. Three... Whole chunks of bedrock. And that's that. The next two that bedrock could spawn on are blocks. So, that shows, us that, the, that shows us that the plugin is working. And that I cannot get out of lava lakes. Very important things to know in life. So, how do you make it work with an already existing world? You can't. It goes to new chunks. And new chunks will be flat. Now, if you want to start a new world with flat bedrock, that is pretty easy to do and that's how the instructions work right on his page. We're gonna stop the server. We're gonna go back to the server list. And what you wanna do is delete your worlds. In this case, it's either world or world nether, because the end well, is the end, it's quite empty. But I'm gonna leave the three of them. Go to this uh, config for the plugin and open it. Default layers, and I'm gonna explain it right now, is what it will look for from the bottom of the earth to the top. It's gonna look for five layers, five rows of blocks. This is the normal Minecraft uh, height max for bedrock, five. If you want to make sure it works, make it six. And this is how many layers of bedrock you're going to fill in. In my case, I always like to do one, even though this allows for the nether, if we do this, to be trespassed with glitches. If you want to be safe, that's why he left it on three. But I'm going to do one to show the difference. And this is the worlds you want it enabled on. Here you would list your extra worlds if you have any world um, dimensions and stuff plugins. We're gonna save it like that or you can go to file and save depends on whatever text editor you're using you can close out of that and now we're gonna go back and run the server. If you don't delete your worlds nothing will happen. Now if we close this and start up the server it's gonna take longer of course because it's creating the new chunks but now all these new chunks will have the proper flat bedrock that the plugin is supposed to create. 
Now we're gonna see here that we're preparing the first area, which is Minecraft Overworld. And it's done. Now we're making the nether. This should be way faster. That's done. In the end, it's nothing. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now when we go into the local server, we make ourselves into creative again. Game mode, creative. And we go to somewhere with light, as previously stated, it's easier to see. Oop. My finger is lit. We're gonna be able to see that now. Oh, we didn't even notice. <laughs> because there is only one layer of bedrock. The plugin does work. Uh, you just need to delete your world if you want it. Or travel further if you want it to be seen as working. That is all for right now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this helped anybody that was doubting on the plugin, per se. As I did, I'm like, wait, does this actually not work? No, it does. And it works beautifully. And it really puts no more load on the server. That's all you need to know. That's all I need to say. Have a really good one. And thanks for watching.